Okay, a quick gaming demo here. We're going to uh, talk a little bit about Fraps. For all you gamers out there that like to capture your games and uh, post them to here on YouTube or other places, uh, people use a lot of people use Fraps, very good utility. And it appears to when it's launched in Windows 8 that doesn't work, but it, in fact it does. So let's click on that. So Fraps comes up, and it's normally configured to store your movies in your Windows or your C Fraps movies directory and your snap screenshots and C Fraps screenshots. Now we've set it up for Control Shift S in order to capture your, your movies. Control Shift, Control Shift P, and that's so that it doesn't interfere with any keystrokes that are possible in the game. You'll also notice under general settings, monitor aerial desktop is turned off because it doesn't work here. There is no aerial desktop in Windows 8. So if I do that Control Shift S, okay, it should record movies in here, including what we're doing on the screen. So if I do Control Shift S. I should be able to let that run for a few seconds and then control shift S again. And I should be able to go view this directory, click here on view, and I see it here. Well, you'll see that we've already done some game captures, but there is no file here. Normally it would be a file in here that says it has a date timestamp with a, showing that we ran a capture and it didn't do it. So what we're going to do instead is that we're going to just ignore that. And just means that you cannot record switching between screens. But for the true gamer, they don't care. What we really care about is being able to capture games. And we're going to look at some of these screenshots that we did, or excuse me, these captures that we did to show you that it does work. So if we try to click on one of these captured games, you'll see that Windows 8 tries to run it in the video program that comes installed with Windows 8. And if we double click on this, you'll see that we get an error saying you cannot play this particular format because the format isn't supported. That's not to worry. We'll just close that and we'll get out of the video player. If you come back to your screen and you right click and you say play with Windows Media Player, you'll see that it plays perfectly fine. Now that probably stuttered a little bit during this video because we're doing a capture of the actual video, but it plays very smoothly. If we go to Assassin's Creed here, for example, a very quick clip uh, here, this one here, very quick clip. Same problem. Put that away. Come back here and say play with Windows Media Player. It's working great. Uh, Portal 2, another quick one. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's just go ahead and use Media Player. Runs very, Runs perfectly fine. So you can see that Fraps not only works, but it also saves it in WMV format, but it's only compatible with the Windows Media Player. Probably a codec problem between the new video player. I'm sure either they'll fix it or somebody's going to take care of that, but nothing to worry about because you can still upload your videos into any editing program you want. You can still I'll put them as MP4s with that program. You can upload them to YouTube. So really what the most important thing to remember, though, is that although Fraps appears not to work, it looks fine. It works fine for what your purpose is, and that is to actually record your games.